सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वील स्टडी अबाउट दिस सिस्टमिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ लोकल एनेस्थिशिया टू नो अबाउट द लोकल कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ इमीडिएट एंड डिले टाइप यू कैन क्लिक ऑन द आई बटन गिवन अबाउट सो वाई दिस सिस्टमिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन अकर विथ लिग्नो के और एनी ऑफ द लोकल एनेस्थी सो बिफोर दैट यू हैव टू नो दैट हाउ लोकल एनेस्थिशिया एक्ट लोकल एनेस्थिशिया आर केमिकल कंपाउंड दैट विल रिवर्स एक्शन पोटेंशियल ऑफ ऑल excitable membranes so where all these excitable membranes are located in a cns and in cvs there is a central nervous system and a cardiovascular system so any systemic complication occurs in cns or a cvs so when the systemic complication will occur whenever we will cross a certain dose limit so the maximum dose of lignocaine with Cons vaso constrictor is seven milligram per kg, and without vaso constrictor is four point five milligram per kg. So, when when uh, when all this systemic complication can occur, whenever the dose is too large, or uh, absorption is too rapid, or sometimes you are given inadvertent IV injection, or the bio transformation or your metabolism of drug is very slow. In all such cases, this systemic complication can. The systemic complication are of two type. It uh, they are either a dose related, that is we can consider it as a overdose, and allergy related. They are not dose dependent. They can uh, occur even with a 0.001 microgram of drug also. So now we will see the lignocaine blood levels. So when this complication will occur, when the blood or plasma level lignocaine is very high, higher the levels. more the complication so as we know that it will affect mostly cvs and cms lignocaine can easily cross the blood brain barrier that's why we can say it can affect cns easily and on cvs it has direct action on myocardium or peripheral vasculature fine so here they are given the blood levels so from 0.5 0.5 to 2.0 microgram per ml the ligno can have no significant clinical action okay but as the dose will increase this the effect will increase at a dose between 2.0 to 5.0 g per ml on cvs ligno can is used clinically for the patient having erythema or a ventricular tachycardia because at a dose between 1.8 to 5.0 microgram per ml it decreases the blood pressure decreases the heart rate so can be used clinically for such patient in the same way for cns between a dose between 2.0 to 4.0 microgram per ml they have a anti convulsant action so you can it act as a boon for a patient having a epilepsy so it will not allow that convulsions to occur but as the dose will increase from 5 microgram per ml the reverse effect of lignocaine will start on cardiovascular system we can say it is just therapeutically for decreases the heart rate blood pressure but at the high dose it act in opposite manner what it do it elevate uh, heart rate elevate blood pressure and at the same time it increases the respiratory rate so if doses increases it causes a massive peripheral vasodilation and intensive myocardial depression and then you have a cardiac arrest in the same way in cns as the doses will increases it can cause cns depression and the patient may have a tonic clonic seizures along with they have other signs like uh, hyper irritability the patient have a slurred speech uh, euphoria they are not able to follow your commands etc so you can see how the doses affect the actions of local anesthetic a certain dose it act in a positive manner but at a dose more than 5 microgram per ml it act in a opposite manner then we will see the allergic reaction to local anesthesia it can be type 1 that is uh, anaphylactic or type 4 there is a delayed hypersensitivity as i told that allergic reaction are never dose related okay so the most common we can see with the ester type of local anesthesia uh, local anesthesia what happen in ester type that they require enzyme plasma pseudocholin esterase for a metabolism so when the metabolism of ester type of la occur there is a by product known as a paba release there is a para amino benzoic acid which act as an allergen and cause humoral cellular immunity 
fine it can also occur with the amide type of local anesthesia because in amide type of local anesthesia nowadays they have a methyl paraben and a sodium bisulfide they can also act as an allergen but it is seen very rarely imagine if a patient is allergic to both ester and uh, amide type of la then you can use a scent bucuridine that is a quinolone derivative it is a 5 to 7 times more potent than la in medical field it is used mostly for the subarachnoid uh, anesthesia fine so now we'll focus on how to manage this complications so how can i manage such complication if we have systemic complications re related to cns and cvs the first thing we have to do is a PABC. First, you have to tell, uh, note the position of patient. Second, assess its airway, breathing, and circulation. And after that, you have to go for the definitive care management. In case of CVS, you have to go for the cardiac life support along with IV fluids and vasopressors like ephedrine. And in case of CNS, you have to go for the definitive care management of a seizure. So you can use a barbiturates or a benzodiazepines. Never use a phenytoin. In such cases, because phenytoin has a similar action to local anesthetic. So, whenever you are managing such complication, you have to do the CPR, that is a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. And along with that, you have to call for the emergency. In India, the number is 112, in US, it is a 911, and in UK, it is a 999. Then, how to manage allergic reactions after LA? If mild reactions are there, then you can manage with the help of antihistamines or corticosteroids. In case of severe reactions, you can give the epinephrine subcutaneously 1 is to 1000, 0.3 to 0.5 ml. Such injection you have to repeat every 20 to 30 minutes, but not more than 3 doses. If anaphylaxis further continues, then you have to give 5 ml of 1 is to 10,000 epinephrine IV. Okay, friends, so in this way, you have to manage your systemic and allergic reactions. So, friends, so we have seen how the systemic things occur and how to manage that. But how can we prevent all these things? Whenever we are administrating LA, we have to take precaution of certain things. First, we should know the pharmacology of the lignocaine, the drug which we are using. Second, the anatomy and injection technique should be thorough properly, so we can avoid uh, all types of uh, local complications. Third thing you can uh, do is that you can practice aseptic techniques and atraumatic injection administration. And whenever you are using LA, use in low effective volumes and never give local anesthetic to a patient in upright position. Always give in semi supine or a supine position. Okay, there are some cases which we have to give in upright position, like they have a severe cardio uh, pulmonary problems. Whenever you are uh, doing aspiration, always take the aspiration in two places. And whenever you are administering local anesthetic to patient, always Look at the patient while administering and also after. Never leave the patient after administration of the local anesthesia. Fine friends, anyone, many people ask whether your lignocaine is safest in case of the uh, woman or not uh, having pregnant. Yeah, lignocaine cannot cross the placental barrier. Okay, and it is safe in case of the pregnant woman, but up to a certain dose level. If you increase the dose level, it can create a so friends that was all about a systemic complication of local anesthesia i hope you people are getting benefited from my video so please like the video share with your friends and subscribe the channel and keep motivating me to do such work so see you friends uh, next week with the lecture on endodontics till then take care and goodbye